Hi, I'm Martin from Claremont's.com. I'm going to very, very quickly now run you through hand hierarchy. In the game of poker, you need to know how strong a hand you've got, and I'm going to teach you from bottom to top the, uh, the different hands that you'll hopefully be winning with in the game of poker. Now, sometimes you love just the way the game works. You'll get to the end of a hand of poker, and there won't be any very good hands out there, but somebody's got to win. That's the lovely thing about poker. Every hand somebody wins. It's possible to win with a hand just like this one. Ace, nine, six, five, two. What's that one? That's just, there's not even a pair there, is there? That's just an ace high, where you've got five cards that don't match each other. So what do we do? We figure out what the best card is. That's an ace high. An ace with a nine, in fact, if you, two of you had an ace, and, and the second card would be the, the judgment of who was the winner in the hand. Very, very weak hand. It does happen quite often that just an ace or just a king as a high card is enough to win you the hand. A little bit more commonly, you'll see this all the time, the hand will be won by just a pair. A pair, a pair of sevens in this case, any two cards that match, they can be one that's here and one that's part of the flop. One pair, that's your next one. Just two cards, of course, a pair of tens will always be a pair of sevens. Moving up through the hand hierarchy, your next one here is a pair of queens with a pair of eights. We'll call that two pair. Two pair beats the one pair, it beats the single high card. Two pair here, queens and eights. Again, if two of you have got two pair, it will go on the first highest pair. So if, you, if you've got aces and fours, you would beat queens and eights because your higher pair, the aces, usurps the queens there. If you'd got sixes and sevens, you wouldn't beat queens and eights. Moving up then, beating all of these hands is three of a kind, a prial. This one, three fours, three fours, maybe with a four and a six because you haven't got anything else with it to match it up with. Three fours would beat all of these hands below, but of course, if you get a higher matching three, a three nines will beat three fours. Moving up through the hands, you don't see too many of these really. A straight, a straight is when you get five consecutive cards five consecutive cards in ascending order. Of course, you can use the ace to be high or low. This example here, nine, 10, jack, queen, and king. There's your straight five cards together. Maybe you could have a straight four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight, of course, wouldn't beat this straight here. It's a five card winning hand there. We're using a maximum number of cards you can use to win the game of poker is five cards. We're using all five here. The lowest ranking five card hand is the straight, and there it is, because they're all different suits, if you notice. It doesn't matter what uh, suit they are to get a straight. You've got five different suits, five cards in ascending order. There's your straight. Next one up, very nice hand to get. This one is the flush. What do we notice about the flush here? They're all diamonds. You've got five diamonds out of the seven cards available to you. That's called a flush. The highest card here is the king, so we'd call this a king flush. So you've got five cards of the same suit. The highest card signifies how strong the hand is. A king flush, of course, would beat what would maybe a 10 flush where you had five diamonds and the highest card was a 10. And again, any flush beats all of the hands that we've already mentioned. Moving up through the hands to something a little bit more exotic, which is called the full house. The full house are a lovely, lovely hand to get. Again, you're using five cards, the maximum you can to make a lovely strong hand. Here's our example here. You've got three threes and two aces. Three of one kind and two of another. Now we're getting to um, the land of fantasy, the sort of thing we don't see very often, the sort of hand that can get us all a little bit nervous if you get one of them. You don't see these too often. This one is called a straight flush. We talked about a straight earlier on there, those five cards here that all went in ascending order. It was called a straight. This, a little bit differently, is a straight flush. And that's because they're all of the same suit. Seven, eight, nine, ten, jack. This time of clubs, a straight flush, five cards of the same suit. It certainly beats all these hands here. There's only one hand that can beat a straight flush, which we'll talk about in a minute. If you've both got a straight flush, exactly like all the other hands earlier on, the highest card here is the jack, so it's a straight flush to the jack. If you maybe were lucky enough to have not that eight but the queen, you'd beat this hand. Very, very unlucky if you get beaten with a straight flush, though. The holy grail of poker. I've only seen a couple in all my many, many years. 
and that's this beautiful thing here. It's called the Royal Flush. The Royal Flush is 10 Jack, Queen, King and Ace of the same suit in order. And if you get one of those, you can tell all your friends and brag about it because that is absolutely unbeatable. There is nothing, nothing in the game of poker that can beat a Royal Flush. That's your best potential winning hand. We go down through the straight flush, the full house. We go down again there through the flush, five of a kind. There's your straight. There's your three of a kind. There's a two pair. Quite often good enough to win with just a pair or just a single high card. All the different ways, potentially, top to bottom, of winning a hand in poker.